So we're going to do another little video here on the SanDisk. Um, this time I'm going to do the card reader. So I've made it and I'll provide this as a reference image just so you have something to look at. Because I couldn't find any good orthographic views. In particular, we're going to use this one. We're not really going to use this one. The other thing I've done is I brought in the card from before and it still has has the texture on it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and model that. Uh, what I did is I brought the reference image. I, I pressed S2 to scale it to moved it back a little bit and we're just going to go ahead and I centered it I'm going to go ahead and uh, model this really simply all right so I'm going to bring in a plane rotate x90 and scale it down in edit mode I'm going to scale in the x and just move it until it's pretty much there it doesn't have to be exactly on either it's going to wireframe that's fine uh, if it's deselected, just press A and switch to one vertex selection. I just find it easier. I'm going to press Shift Control B to bevel, and I'm going to start pulling, and then I'm going to press C to clamp. That means when the vertices hit, you know, if you look over here, they'll just they'll touch. They won't cross over. Then roll your mouse up. Uh, there's just the two, three, four, five is probably fine, and we'll have the shape like that. Now. Uh, because of the way we did that with the clamping, we'll have to press M, merge by distance, and notice we got rid of some vertices. I'm going to turn it to the side, and I'm not going to line it up on that. I'm just going to extrude back, you know, something, something reasonable like that, and say it's going to look like that. Okay. Select the front face, and go back into front view and wireframe, and press I to inset, and pull it in. Hold shift if you want to move a bit slower. See, it jumps like that and just move it in this much go into solid view i'm going to turn it a little bit we're going to extrude in a bit e to extrude and just gesture back something like that okay let's bevel this back face press three for face selection and select that Control b pull and let's see what we've got there's two three four i'm going to go for five make it nice and round like that and then two for edge selection, shift alt and click these edges, and we'll give these a bevel, but we can probably get away with three. So there's two, three, try that and see. We can shade smooth, but we're gonna have some issues, but we're gonna do some booleans in this, and that's gonna change the shading. Let's turn on the cavity shader, however. Uh, it's time to do the indents for the various cards. We've got the compact flash card there, we've got our typical SD card there and we'll move this one over into place and then you've got a spot for a micro SD card. Alright so back in wireframe the 3D cursor is still right there no problem let's bring in a plane rotate X90 scale it down and move it so that we get the the width of this pretty much scale in the X and we want to pull it out to about there. Alright I'm going to leave that and I'm going to shift D to duplicate that plane and I'm going to drag it down here till it lines up with this edge and then I'm going to select this edge and I'm going to pull it in like that. I may select this face again and scale in the Z a little bit just to get it a little bit different than this one. Now we'll take that shift D and duplicate pull it over to here and do the same thing and just scale it to size and we'll do all these booleans at the same time so there's that you can just go control L maybe that's an easier way scale that in the Z we'll make this one nice and small all right select them all so I've got them all selected press 1 for vertex selection and now we're going to bevel this so shift control B we will pull, hold down shift, and I think three vertices are probably enough in this case. All right, just look at this one, make sure they don't cross, and that's that's fine. So we've we've rounded those. We're going to use these as cutting tools, so pull them out. E to extrude, pull them back a ways. Uh, select the whole thing, I'll pull it in a little bit more. Uh, they're probably flipped. Okay, everything's flipped in fact. <laughs> so let's Alt and recalculate outside on that and on that. Okay, so periodically make sure you check that or set it up so that you can tell right away. All right, so we're going to do a Boolean here. So let's select the main body here and modify our Boolean on difference with the eyedropper. Select that and we will apply. 
let's just take these and hide them let's not do anything else yet now on this to fix the shading we can try just weighted normal and normals auto smooth um, but uh, I th what I think I'm going to do is first of all that that and we're actually going to put on a bevel and I'm going to move that above and now we have a bit of a bevel on there as well um, let's see I'm going to bring that up to three and that's what we get so you know with the five uh, it, when we beveled it we get this kind of uh, situation it may not be as, as soft or as uh, smooth as you would like um, so it's up to you to decide how many vertices you want to use when you do the original beveling to get that I've probably used more so with that done I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select this back face shift D to duplicate it and pull it out P to break it out and the reason I'm doing this is there is another piece in here that I wanted to have to hold the card so I'm gonna I'm going to do that so I've got that piece right there I can leave it in that position and go into wireframe just look at this and I think what I'll do now is I'll just press I to inset pull it in and just look that my vertices aren't crossing over and I think that's probably okay I can scale this in the X if I want to get it a little bit more and scale in the Z just to match the shape of that hole a little bit more so this is what I've got so far so I'm going to uh, I think I will delete that face I'll go back into solid view and uh, select the whole thing and extrude back like this and it's got the bevel on it because I copied it from this object so that's good I'll just slide that in just a little bit like that this gives a little bit more detail to this all right, let's come in here and grab this face. This is for the compact flash card. I'm gonna pull it to maybe about there and we will create the little cylinders that are on there. I mean, this does increase the poly count, so it's up to you if you wanted to do this. I'll create a cylinder. We'll try to go low. Let's even go for 14 vertices and scale down, rotate X90, G, move it over scale it down to about that size let's just take it out we'll get rid of that back face right here select that face x faces let's take this and scale it in the y a little bit and then push it in and see how it's looking around there let's bevel this control b with three shades smooth and we'll just make sure it's fit the right way and uh, we could probably live with that well we could do it and then we can see what we need to do so let's put on the array we're going to array it in the x so just start pulling hold down shift and pull this over a little bit something like that and then we're going to change the count to 25 25 and uh, let's see do we need one more no we'll move these over like that okay so that's that's okay there all right and then I'm just going to copy them, Shift D to duplicate, pull them down. Let's have a look at this. So I feel like I want these bigger. I just want them to be a bit more prominent. So I'm going to scale these in the wire or longer anyhow for when you push on the cards so you can see them a little bit better. Let's go back to here and uh, have a look. Yeah, I figured that one might be flipped. All right, go in, Alt and recalculate outside. Okay, so there's that. So let's now take the card and we'll slide it over here. What's that? Okay, let's not do it that way. There we go. We'll slide that over here and see. All right, and you may have to adjust the position of the card and the, the thickness of the card a little bit, but it's going to be something like that. I'll just push it into there all right so we have that so now we want to do this this piece here so i'm going to use another plane i'll rotate x 90 and slide it over and start scaling it down and go into wireframe 
and scale it in the X and get the width of it around that. Scale it in the Z. And, you know, I realize this is sort of like floating in space. Uh, you can have it resting on the desk if you want. But that's roughly what I'm going to do. And shift control B and pull. And I think I'll uh, just bring it down, roll my mouse up until I have it relatively smooth like that. And I'll extrude back a ways. Maybe something like that. Okay, um, let's do this. I'm gonna have to do that piece. I'm going to, we can bevel this first. And I could probably get away with three. Yeah, let's use three and then let's take this piece, shift D to duplicate, pull it out and look from the front and let's just see if I can scale it down and get the shape that I want. Scale it in the X and may not be as round as I would have liked. Uh, I'm not sure that matters though, actually. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extrude it back. And so it's all one piece right now. And I'm gonna pull this out a little bit. And then I'm gonna I to inset. Not really looking at the diagram. I'm gonna pull that back and leave it there. And just, just have a look at this. I think that's probably going to be pretty good. So let's bevel these edges here. We'll just do that with three. Okay. Uh, we can try a shade smooth, and I may want to put an edge in here. If I can get in there, that's good enough. All right, let's take that all and recalculate outside. And perhaps I'll throw an edge loop down here just to fix that shading so that is probably going to be okay except for in, inside right so uh we can just take this face if you'd like and just eye to inset just pull it in a little bit that ought to clear that up yeah and the last thing we need to do is this uh this wire th type thing here so i think i can actually delete that i'm going to look down from the top so different ways to do this. What I might do is simply is using a plane, uh, bring it up and sort of set this edge in the middle and then take this edge and go to about the middle of that one. And I'm gonna delete that edge. And um, you know what? I may wanna move this over a little bit. So this is not so narrow. I'll take this edge, bring it, bring it back to the middle we can do it this way. Uh, it's one way of doing it. Let's try uh, shift control B and pull and roll my mouse up a bunch of times and say, you know, all right, something like that. Now, I don't know if they crossed over. They did not cross over. Uh, we could take that and see how it looks. Let's convert this to a curve and scroll down under geometry and bevel and bevel depth and just bring that up to a thickness that you think is reasonable just realizing this one is a little smaller here although we're going to flatten this cord a little bit i can do a control one and a shade smooth we can get a better view of this thing might 0 0.11 or might go 0 0.12 i'm not going to worry about this one too much yet uh, the other thing I want to I want to put something on here a cap I don't need it to go down that far on this one so I'm going to just pull that up and take those two points there that's a nice straight so shift D to duplicate P to break it out take that piece and just increase the diameter there all right now I can come back into this and grab that point and pull it in and this one pull it up and say okay something like that is what I was going to go for so I will copy that soon over to the other one. Just have a look at this. Now, if I do copy it, in fact, I think maybe I'll do a test with the other one because remember the other one is not as tall. So just bring that in and put it roughly there. And okay. Now, is there any chance I'd want to scale that in the Z, make it a little bit bigger? I will be flattening this a little bit. I think maybe these are a little bit too big. For what I want, uh, yeah, they are. So uh, it was just overkill. So just 
dial those back so we got that and on this one I may just make it a little shorter and this one could be a little longer that's okay all right I'm gonna select those and I'm gonna select that I'm gonna scroll up I'm gonna change the resolution to 4 and then convert to a mesh so now it's all mesh and I'm coming in edge selection shift alt and click here after make a face shift alt and click here after make a face I'll keep that one selected and I'll select that one and then I'll bevel control B pull I just need three now I'm going to take the whole thing and just very gently I'm going to scale in the Z like that I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to move it down a little bit all right now I can put on control one again and we have our cord all right hopefully that looks all right to you and after that you can put whatever you want on here if there's any text you want to pull or any any little tiny screws or something like that I think if I was redoing this I think I would I would have more uh, more geometry there um, hopefully I haven't missed anything all right so let's go into the shading tab we've got the card already shaded and I really do I'm thinking I'll just make this white so I'm going to do another one and I'm just going to call this uh, I'm going to call it white uh, we'll just bring it down a little bit drop the roughness to about 0.3 something and how about we put on some clear coat 0.3 make it nice and shiny let's bring this over to here okay so that's going to be that that's now let's see is that going on there no so we're going to put uh white on there and actually we're going to join those control j and that's going to have white we'll probably join a lot of this soon so we got white on that stuff that's not going to be white but we'll fix that in a second let's come into here and create a new one i'm going to call this metal and I'm going to switch the color to a sort of off blue. Drag it down a little bit. Maybe not quite as much. Somewhere in there, anyhow. I don't know if I made much change. I'm going to bring the metallic all the way up. And I'll bring the roughness uh, down just a little bit. So that'll be our metal. And I'll just select that one last and link materials. So I want that metal. And I also want this one here. So I'm going to select this inner piece and go control plus a bunch of times as it comes around to get all of that scroll up to the materials so I want two materials on this the white and another one so I'm gonna go plus add another material choose metal and then assign make sure it goes on there so I have that there thought about doing that piece in black and uh, might want to do that let's try that let's come in here and select those faces shift alt and click those faces just zoom in a bit and control plus until we get to there if you go too far good it's not going too far it's stopping at that point because that was a separate object so we've got white from the cord let's add a new one let's click new and we'll choose black and i will make this dark let's not not forget to assign and we'll do lower roughness and that clear coat of 0 0.3 or whatever and uh, just decide if you think that looks good or not all right uh, now it's a little hard to see the stuff we really need to come back here and turn on ambient occlusion and that's going to help a ton i'm going to bring this distance up to one and i'm going to bring this factor to two all right now we can see this is almost like shadow in there all right, and I'll turn on bloom. You get a little bit of something there and screen space reflections. And that is pretty much it. I'm not sure I like the black there, but that's up to you to decide. That is our card reader. Ah, you know what? I don't think I have that white on here. So let's put that in there. Subtle, subtle change. All right. All right, so there we go. We have our card reader now, and we have one card. And I think we'll leave it at that. So I will post the reference image for you if you feel that would be helpful. And uh, I'll leave that where it is, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks very much.